Just wait till I tell I you that. <laughs> All right. All right. Good morning or good afternoon, evening. Sorry. Let's uh, begin with the prayer here. Can we all bow our heads for a blessing? Our Father, love has been the richest and greatest gift in this world. The love between a man and a woman, which matures into marriage, is one of the most beautiful types of love. Today we celebrate that love. May your blessing be on Jesse and Stephanie and their family. Surround them and us and their children with the love now and always. Amen. You may be seated. I'd like to welcome everyone who's come from, to witness this day. This is a day and a time that will be celebrated every year by Jesse and Stephanie, plus their families and friends. What a gift Jesse and Stephanie has that every year on this day, you can renew your vows and your love with each other. I encourage you on this day each year to renew that joy and the love that you share today. I would also like to welcome all of you who have come from near and far, not only to, to the marriage of the Jesse and Stephanie, but the joining of the Koch and Tomas family. The guest list is small, but distinguished. Jesse and Stephanie, each of you have walked the paths that have brought you to each other. These paths have not been easy, but have been filled with joy, happiness, and many memories. Both of your paths have not been easy, but have also not been without sorrow. Psalm 34:27 says, Though they stumble, 
they will never fall. The Lord holds them by the hand. As each of you have walked these paths, the Lord has been walking beside you, guiding you to this very moment. Albert Comos quotes, Don't walk behind me, I may not lead. Don't walk in front of me, I may not follow. Just walk beside me and be my friend. God has given you all this gift in bringing your families together, which is not an easy task. As brother and sisters, you are called to learn from each other, love each other unconditionally, protect and stand up for each other, and most of all, respect one another. These children have endured their trials on their own at a young age and have come out on the other side as amazing young people. I've known this firsthand. I've watched them grow. They have a lifetime to continue to learn and what a blessing it is for them now, for each of them to have as a family. As, I'm sorry, as to part as being family. At this time, Jesse and Stephanie have prepared some words for each other. Jesse, going first. Mm -hmm. So I don't choke or forget. <laughs> uh, we've had good times and we've had our ups and downs. We've experienced things in this life that nobody should ever have to. We've also experienced things in this world that no one else has but us. All these things have made us who we are and all these experiences have been leading to this day. I can't imagine spending my life with anyone else but you. Well done. <laughs> Try. <laughs> Try. Also, so I don't forget. <laughs> so Jesse, I never could have known that picture of that hot guy with a canine bite sleeve and the dog attached to it <laughs> would someday be the man that holds my heart. I know I'm not easy and I know I test your patience, but you never waver. You are a steady hand for me when I need it, which I need it a lot. And you show me what it means to love unconditionally by loving our children that way. You are my family and you are my love. Yeah. <laughs> when two people pledge their love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written word. Marriage is a promise. It's a contract made in two hearts of two people who love, which takes a lifetime to fulfill. But remember this, love is a feeling, not a choice. Or, sorry, I got that backwards. Love is not a feeling, it's a choice. I'm sorry that I screwed that up. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it's not really. But it is a choice. And it's so good. So at this point, Jesse and Stephanie, you're joining hands. I'd ask you to finish with I will. Jesse, will you take Stephanie to be your wife? Will you love her and comfort her? Honor and keep her in sickness and in health, remaining faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Stephanie, will you take Jesse to be your husband? Will you love him and comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, remaining faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Okay, we have the rings here. From the earliest of times, the circle has been the symbol of completeness, a symbol of committed love. As long as each other, as often as each of you look at your rings, I pray that you will be reminded of the commitment that for, of love of each, that the love of each other that you're making today. So with that, Jesse, place the ring on Stephanie's finger and repeat after me. Stephanie, take this ring. A little help here. <laughs> Puffy fingers. Stephanie, take this ring. And wear it as a pledge of my love for you. And wear it as a pledge of my love for you. And as a symbol of all that we shall share together. And as a symbol of all that we shall share together. In our lives together. In our lives together. And Stephanie, place the ring on Jesse's finger and repeat after me. Jesse, take this ring. 
Jesse, take this ring. And wear it as a pledge of my love. And wear it as a pledge of my love. As a symbol of all that we shall share together. As a symbol of all that we shall share together. In our lives together. In our lives together. Psalm 143, 8 says, Let the morning bring the, me words of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for you I entrust my life. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, by the power invested in me in this great state of Texas, Jesse Thomas, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Jesse Thomas. indicated in our ceremony um, we have certainly walked unique paths that brought us to this day and to this moment and as we think about those paths um, bringing he and I together we also feel blessed that our paths have brought all of you to this moment it's not just me and Jesse or Ivan and Jenna and Kate and Hannah it's all of you coming to this moment um, so life doesn't always go as as we expect it doesn't always go according to our plans um, Maybe some things are not for us to try to plan after all. Maybe what our job is is to be in moments like this and just be grateful for where we are and feel blessed by the people that are around us. Um, so our first toast is to family. I don't have a drink, but I'll, you all can toast. Um, may our family's evolving paths continue to bring us um, to memories like this. To family. family. Another um, bit of the toast, uh, we have another kind of special occasion that we would like to mark. Um, while we have some very special guests here today, there's one in particular who had a very special day recently. Um, our sweet Katie just crossed into the double digits a couple of days ago. So she's no longer in single digits. She's a double digit girl. <laughs> so we would like for everyone to wish Katie a happy birthday. Happy 10th birthday, Katie. We love you. <coughs> Okay. Yeah. I wrote mine down. But yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys for uh, being here at this wedding. But uh, there's another wedding, another congratulations to go out to uh, Bailey and Tori, who have recently become engaged in uh, Michigan, right? Oh no, I'm sorry, in Italy. They were engaged in Positano, Italy, recently. So hats off to them. They're next. All right, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Wow, this is <laughs> <laughs>